I welcome the opportunity to speak on this. I want to thank uh, Solidarity People Before Profit for this opportunity. Um, I think it's a fair ask. I agree in the sense that there needs to be a greater level of imagination and that we have to look upon this as an opportunity in relation to delivering uh, for third level on the basis of how Donna O'Malley delivered uh, for second level education. Now, I think I'd also, it's fair to say we obviously need to deal with the issue of fees. We do need to deal with the issues in relation to SUSE and particularly the income thresholds. I welcome the fact that the Minister says some of this is going to be addressed. Um, but I think we also need to accept that, that in some levels, and we have the sad news at this point in time from Drogheda as a reminder of what can happen when, you know, kids from disadvantaged areas can become involved in, uh, in, 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 in literally a pretty seedy part of this world that, that impacts on an awful lot of uh, our working class communities and uh, it impedes them greatly and we end up with kids that become enveloped and become um, victims of utterly scurrilous criminals and just a blight on our society that needs dealt with. So we need to put all those factors into play from a point of view that we can deliver for people, that we can offer them opportunities. Uh, I have used the line here previously. Um, my, my father was a, was a principal in uh, Murrahevnamore in, in Dundalk, and he often said that it can be utterly ridiculous at times when a teacher is going to get worked up about a kid not having uh, a pencil or not having a pencil case, or not having a copy book, when that kid might not necessarily have had breakfast. So we need to look at all those interventions that are necessary, those multi-agency interventions from a point of view, as, as I say, that we give everybody a fair start. And, and that happens long before we even get to secondary school. So we need this to work from primary, secondary, and then into tertiary. Uh, I'm going to deal with the uh, apprenticeships. I do welcome some of the narrative from government in relation to talking about multiple access points to uh, career paths. I do welcome the fact that in Dundalk we have access through Ophi and Diffie in Drogheda, um, and that's sorry, Ophi College in Dundalk, um, that we have access to PLCs, which provide uh, a springboard for many people to get into third level, which is in an awful lot of cases into uh, DKIT. And uh, I, I think we have to look at all these pathways. We obviously have to increase funding and have to increase supports for the access programs. And we also have to look at the College Connect scenario where connections are made properly um, with the communities, particularly those communities that surround these uh, third, third level institutes who don't necessarily always have a great tradition of, of attending. But uh, I would also welcome some of the innovative moves that have been made by the likes of LMETB and other bodies. We have the Advanced Manufacturing Training Centre of, Excellent, of Excellence in Nundalk. This is uh, lifelong training. It's in high-tech, high-spec type um, industries, and, and we need to see this. I think we also need to have an audit in relation to employers' needs from a point of view of skill sets that are required that need to be built into these apprenticeships. And uh, I, I know that some experts in the field would say at times that there's a necessity for certain soft skills um, that relate to communication, that can relate to your almost emotional intelligence and certain particular skill sets that sometimes are lacking. Well, if that is the case, it's very easy to incorporate these into, as I say, apprenticeships, lifelong learning. So we ensure that we can we, we can produce students that have all the skill sets required. You know, and I, um, I would also welcome, I do welcome the fact that the minister has dealt with obviously DKIT and technical university, uh, technical university status. I would welcome if I could be communicated back with. I know that there is to be a meeting, um, I think it's next month, uh, with uh, Roctus members um, from County Loud because we need to ensure that DKIT doesn't miss out and that we deliver on technical university status. I do welcome the minister's interaction 
um, in relation to other issues that uh, have occurred in, in, in DKIT. And I, I would welcome, as I say, if I could um, have word back now. It might suit him not necessarily to have it uh, in the chamber at Gurmagath.